Hello and welcome to the stream, where today we're going to be checking out the Outer Worlds, uh, Spacer's Choice Edition. Apparently, like, I knew that the Outer Worlds was coming to Epic, uh, to the Epic Game Store for free, by the way. If anybody is interested and you like this stream or you think this game is for you, go get it on Epic. You know, it is free, and it's free to claim until Thursday of next week, right? Well, I, I would should say Wednesday, right? Because Thursday morning, that's when it's going to cycle over to the next weekly free game. The game looks really interesting. Uh, never played it. Never really even heard about it, really. I've, I've seen the picture, obviously, of the, the weird moon-faced uh, astronaut. Not really moon-faced, I guess a moon helmet. Reminds me of the moon from uh, uh, the Mighty Boosh. I don't know why, but it does. It also looks like something from, like, Bioshock or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, run the ads real quick, and I will be right back. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and try a weekend stream, since, uh, since this weekend's kind of different from most weekends, so I just figured I was going to give it a shot. I think I'm just going to save the Outer Worlds. I'm not going to put that whole Spacers Edition thing in it. For my uh, post on X. Because that is... That's a little bit too much to get. And I don't think it's going to copy the whole damn thing. Because it's all like dot 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 kind of thing. Doing the ellipses on uh, Twitch. <clears throat> Get rid of that, get rid of this, okay. And like I said, it is a rare weekend stream. I wouldn't wouldn't get used to these at all because I don't know if it's going to work. If it ends up being great though, um then I might see if I can talk to my stepdad into like maybe doing like a four hour stream on these days just to see if I can help build the channel. But if it ends up not being great, well, you know. At least I'll get to look at the Outer Worlds. And if anybody gets to see this stream, maybe they can pick up the game for free too. I don't even know what this game is. I, I think my brother said it's like a third person game or something like that. I thought it was a first person game for sure. And I saw in the video it looked... Wait, no, I'm thinking of something different. I don't think there was a video of this on uh, Epic weird thing is that I don't think there was a video. Like, everything was just pictures. Very strange. But anyway, uh, this is, like I said, this is free to pick up on Epic right now, and it is the entire game. As you can see, these little check marks, they say that I have the DLC. These are the two DLCs. The whole entire game is free right now to claim. It's not free to play, like, when you say free to play, that means, oh, it's like on a free weekend or something, so you can play it for a weekend. No, that's free to claim. Which means if you claim it in time, it's yours forever. So, what are you waiting for? Go get it. Let's, uh, let's check out the game and see what it's like. Whoa, this is very small. So there's story. Use this mode if you enjoy story more than combat. Normal. Enemies have standard health and damage. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's do that. Conversation subtitles are on. That sounds good. Yeah, we'll just leave them on. That way, just in case audio is not great or whatnot. Show bark subtitles? What the hell is that? Subtitles will not be shown for words spoken outside of conversations. Huh. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but okay. Show cinematic subtitles. Yes, we're going to put that on too. Text size. Let's bring this up because it is really fucking tiny. Does it need to be that big? Probably not. Whoa. There's no difference between 9 and 10. Literally no difference. I think 5 will be fine. We don't need it to be super huge. 5 should be fine. Let me see how that looks on OBS. Uh, 
yeah, I think that's fine. It's just one is super tiny. <laughs> sure. Hopefully this will play well. We'll just see. I'm just hoping that it's not going to, like, go crazy with the CPU or anything. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will I don't know what's up with the stutter. Hopefully it won't destiny. keep doing that. You go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. I don't know what the hell is going on with the stutter. Because everything looks fine. RAM is pretty low, CPU is pretty low. of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Mm -hmm. Oh. What the hell? Modify your attributes to choose what you'd like to specialize in. Be beware below average attributes come with a penalty. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, there's six points remaining. Why not just do boop, 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 boop? We'll just be good at everything. Good at everything and all around perfect. Well, maybe not perfect. Whoa. Points placed into a core skill melee will increase specialized skills. One-handed, two-handed, up to rank 50. After rank 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills. Okay. Well, maybe we go with... Hmm. I don't know. There's so much stuff. Maybe go with defense, because I suck at games. Pretty much. How do you... I don't know how to add points. It says there's two points available, but I'm, like, not able to put them in. How are you supposed to put them in? Oh, wait, do you put it in here? Ah, there You're we go. You're going to be hard to kill, oh. though not from lack of trying. Oh, I see. So you don't pick, like, one skill here. You you actually pick a category of skills. That's kind of cool. Dialogue, stealth, tech. You know. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Hmm. Unlock the second drug mixing slot for the inhaler. I mean, sure. This seems Your pretty good too. Would have been wasted in a corporate lab. <laughs> okay, that should work. We may have to play around with the uh, settings and see if we can get it to maybe not be so crazy. We'll see. So what is this? Aptitude, huh? Plasma damage received is less. Science plus one. One-handed melee plus one. Medical plus one. Inspiration. Corrosion damage received. Okay. Food effect duration. 
and ray damage received. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff. Shock damage received. A cashier. I've been a cashier before. There's block. You know what? I think... I think the dodge sounds like it might be kind of good. Wasn't it that one that I wanted? Or was it something else? There's also the medical. Let's just go with dodge. Maybe no a better chance. Enough. You are good at your job. Perhaps a better chance to not die, right? And let's see here. Do they have a randomized? Oh, they do. Oh, God. No. No. No? Although he's kind of cool looking. No. We'll find something good with randomizing. No. Also, no. No. The randomizing is kind of terrible, isn't it? Uh, it's not so bad. Yeah, this guy kind of works. Yeah, it works for me. It's not so bad. Uh, bit of this. Vitavis. Enter your character's name. Spacer's choice is dying to meet you. Boom. Wait, what? What do we do now? Oh, there we go. Gotcha. And there's the summary. I mean, he doesn't really look like a guy that's in it, like medical and engineering. He looks like a scrapper. Still, I think this is pretty good. So we get, what, unlock the ability to leap, dodge forward, perfect block, block just before you get hit to stagger your attacker, oh god, that's not good. Unlock the second drug mixing slot for the inhaler, you improve your weapons and armor in the workbench, repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Okay. And then we get extra dodge and we just have like everything just kind of average. Seems like it makes sense to me, since they give you six points anyway. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. There's a big damn ship in the background. Not likely, bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. Um, did he steal me from that ship? Huh. Hey, it's an orbiting laboratory. I'll be right at home. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Hmm. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Huh? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! 
Hm? <laughs> Holy shit, was that an elevator? I thought he was putting me in a cryopod again. I thought he took me out of cryo just to put me in another cryo. I may have to look into uh, changing the frame limiter, because it seems like frame limiters in games maybe mess up the game. Because it was the same with, um, uh, what is it, Helldivers 2. Everybody says that the in-game frame limiter like messes up the game and makes it stutter. And so I wonder if maybe this does too. Because I did limit me? the frames. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Ugler. His name is Hawthorne. And he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him. I'm oh, sure. it's not an elevator. It's like an I've escape pod. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Uh oh It's probably fine. really did get crushed. What an idiot. <laughs> he said that he was supposed to plant the beacon. I'm guessing this is the beacon? Jeez, what an idiot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me uh, see if I can do this real quick. There it is. See, the, for video, the frame limit. Oh, you can't go down all the way. Guess I'll just go to unlimited and see what happens. As long as it doesn't spike my CPU like crazy, like, uh, freaking Helldivers was doing. Are these graphics, like, really bad? Hold on. They look pretty terrible. Oh, yeah, they're on low. Is that what it's supposed to be? I'm going to bump it up a little, because that is ridiculously bad. Let's see what medium looks like. Yeah, it looks better. I mean, it should play just fine. I have a great video card. We look at everything. Ooh. It does kind of spike up the, uh, the old CPU, though. Maybe just a little bit? That might not be too bad. At least I have control of my character. What the hell are these things? These things are beautiful. Look at them. They look like little truffula trees. Truffula trees are what everyone needs. Oh, wait. Was that... No, that was the Thneed, I think. Spacebar jump over obstacles. I can't just cut it. Whee! Okay. Gotcha. I'm assuming shift is... Yeah, shift is sprint, and it's toggleable. Good. Use... Oh, God. Can I change that? I do not like that at all. Give me a second. I hate control for crouch. 
because if C is not used, I use C for crouch. OC is used. Companion one special ability. Ooh. Well, that's bad. Um, let's see. Where is reload? Reload is R. Can I make that this? <gasps> what? Oh, wait. No, hold on. Yes. Thumb mouse button is currently assigned to quick melee. Oh, really? That's too bad. I was thinking quick melee would be fine on... Um... Tactical time dilation. Jesus Christ, how much stuff do you do in this game? God damn, dude. How many buttons need to be used? Menus cannot be rebound. That's fine. It doesn't really bother me. Where's Crouch? There's Crouch. But, yeah, that's right. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this one. Hmm. X is already used. Oh, so it's a companion kind of thing, huh? It's interesting. Z is already used, of course. Hmm. F's already used. What about G? G's not bad. Maybe we could do G. There we go. That way we can get Crouch to be C, which is just, that's what I use for all games, pretty much. And then is there like a grenade or something? I don't think there's any grenade, it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any grenade. So, putting melee on the mouse doesn't seem bad. Just to uh, put it on this button. There you go. Good to go. Hopefully that works. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. And it even updates the the little window there. That is fantastic. Some games don't do that. Some games will not update with the button that you currently have it set to. Left shift to sprint. Yep, I already figured that one out. And it's toggleable, which I love. It's just like DRG. Huh? Crouch to sneak to avoid detection. Oh, is this guy gonna... Find me, he looks pretty dead. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Huh. Bye, dude. Okay, so you can use tall grass. Gotcha. The awareness meters are over enemy heads... Tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay. Must be those little diamonds. Aha. Jesus. Okay. Bye. You didn't say anything about crazy space wolves. Okay. Jesus. Holy fuck, what is that? You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. The hell was that? That didn't seem super good. Oh, there's little tiny chameleon buoys. Look at them. Where they kind of look like little lizards. Hi, little lizards. Or little baby dragons. Uh-oh. Ow. You have low health. Use the emergency med medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one adreno. I don't know where to see that, but okay. Go... Oh, I have regen, too. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's over there on the app. Okay, gotcha. And then there's also... Eh? 
the hell? Wait, you have to double tap it? Oh yeah, you double tap it to dodge. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's a dude. Hey, you. Come here. Hey, dude. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. <laughs> the hell are you talking about, dude? Well, I have medical, so sure. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. <laughs> Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Well, I'm a medical person. He doesn't even know me either. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? <laughs> Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Mm-hmm. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Let's try persuading. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> you hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. <laughs> the Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? <laughs> Are you an anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. <laughs> I do love it when developers allow you to have this here where it darkens out when you've done an option. That way you don't accidentally do the same option again, you know? I'm off. Bye, dude. Oh, look at this gun. Hell yes. Oh, yeah. So do you want me to just sort of blow the fuck out of these barrels, dude? Is it gonna be okay? Are you gonna die? These could explode really badly. Let's do it! Oh. It's not so bad. Oh, what hmm? just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... <laughs> That's melee? What the hell? Oh, hold on. Didn't he say he gave me a saber, too? What the hell, dude? Where is... Is there an inventory? Oh, shit. TL weapon safe and training weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time. By dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen on this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. The hell is TNL? Okay. There it is. Hmm. So maybe it's just better to have the gun. Oh, can I put this on there? Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay, let's do that. That way we can switch to two and we can have our saber. And then I guess you just... Eh? Cool. Okay, okay. So the quick melee is actually just like a pistol whip. Okay, gotcha. Understood. Wait, can we talk to this guy again? I just wonder if he has anything else to say. Thanks for patching me up. He might not. He looks really familiar. Oops. He 
really does look pretty familiar. Like some kind of an actor that I know or something. There's these lizard thingies. I mean, they seem harmless. What are they called? Sprats? They are called sprats. Bye, little sprats. I won't hurt you. Shit. What the hell? Oh, that's the tactical time dilation? Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain process... Your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as time to act, or as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TD, TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time, so it's Q. Okay. Gotcha. Was that a mush? Uh oh. Some objects explode when hit. Shoot them when enemies are nearby for an explosive surprise. Just don't be too close. Yeah, it makes sense. Can I grab this mush? No. Hi. Oh, boom! <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, shit, dude. Jesus. Okay. He's got stuff. So what do you do? Hold E to take all? Sure. I think he had some mining gear. Wait, is that freaking armor? Uh, maybe not. Journal. Map. Nifty. I guess it's not armor? Wait, can you not, like, equip armor? The hell was that stuff? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There we go. Armor management. Aramid ballistics will keep your skin intact. Drag armor or helmet items to the equip slots, equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare it to other armor, tag them as junk, or drop them. Okay. So I think that was armor that he gave me. Yeah. So how do you compare? Oh, there we go. Boop. What? There we go. There's how you do it. Yeah, just like that. What? Is it working? Oh, okay. I see. I see. So you mark the one you're going to compare, and then you look at the one that you want to look at. Okay, I gotcha. So it looks like it's slightly better. This one gives me more tech skills. The other one gives me more stealth skills, which seems pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Wait, can we put these both on? No. Please. There we go. And it even changes the way you look. That's pretty cool. What is this? TNL makes the best gear for your friends and family. Consumables. Here you can use junk or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top of the screen. It uses Adreno as fuel to heal you in an emergency. And always keeps it loaded into slot one. Okay. Increase your medical skill to unlock more drug mixing slots. That can hold all types of consumables, not just Adreno. Each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler for a combined effect. Oh, that sounds bad. Your medical skill increases the duration of all these effects. Oh, cool. It's pretty good for me then, because I've got good medical skill. Right? Oh, this, you need more, more medical skill to add these. Gotcha. See, I actually got this unlocked, I think. Normally people wouldn't have this unlocked unless they take the medical. Maybe. Modifications. General. Quests. And junk. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, cool. And the game seems to have somewhat of a regen, so that's kind of cool. Did this guy have anything on him? 
Oh, wait. Oh, I used it. Never mind. I was like, was it the other guy? Oh, wow. Look at that. You found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. Yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> it's probably just the same thing. Yeah, it seems like it's literally the same thing. Special effect lead, damage 22. Yeah, it's the same thing. Literally the same weapon. Huh. Okay. I guess that's for people who... Ooh. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. You're... Yeah, not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't... I don't have any of these things. Wait, are these some? Oh my god, are those bananas? Hell yes. Did they say there are a bunch of nanners? Dude, this guy was freaking loaded. Give me all this stuff. What else you got here? I don't know what these are. Oh, they're mag picks. Sure. I mean, why not just pick up everything? You can probably sell it later. What is this? Slice bread. Fast ration pill. Fish sticks. Nice. They were ready to camp out. So can any use these mag picks now? Yeah. So you hold E and pick for three seconds. Oh, hell yeah. That was so much easier. Telescoping staff. The hell? The hell is that? Special effect knockdown? Two-handed melee? Hmm. Sure. I'm assuming we're going to run out of inventory space, probably. I am probably going to be very bad at this, but I'll put it on. Oh, wait. We should check out those other things, too. There was no armor. Consumables. Yeah, they are. A bunch of nanners. <laughs> it even says bunch of nanners. Carbohydrates, natural health regeneration, last two minutes. Fresh means good. Okay. What does the inspect do? Oh. Oh, holy shit. You can actually, like, look at them. Those don't look like good bananas. You probably shouldn't eat bananas if they look like this at the end. Just gonna say. I don't think I would trust it. Wait, what does this do? It brings down your charm and your perception and your dexterity. <laughs> Personality attributes plus one? Huh. More natural health regeneration. So these are like just little health regeneration things. Meet base health. Lasts for two health. Or two minutes. Oh, so this is a health buff. That's cool. More health regeneration, more health regeneration, more health regeneration. Yeah, food just seems to be health regeneration, which is fine. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's head on out. Oh, I should probably reload. Oh, that's what that... Ooh. Hey, bro. Could shoot him right in the head and nobody would know. Wait, I think there's another guy down there, though. I think I saw a movement on the other side. Hold on, maybe we can jump on him. There is a way over this way, too. Oops. There he is. Nobody will ever know. Ow! Ah, he didn't die. Oh, there is more. Oh no, there's too many. Make them come to me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the melee. Come on. I wanna try my staff out? Come here, you bitch. 
Come on. No. Get over here. He's coming. Ooh. Get him! <laughs> Damn. Take that, you piece of shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What this other guy have? Nothing. Yes. Clobber him with the spacer's choice. Nah, it's probably a better idea to use the gun, honestly. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Where was that other guy? But oh, there he is. Okay. What you got, buddy? You got some stuff, too. Don't know what these big cartridges are. Maybe they're ammo? Oh my god, this thing holds a lot of bullets. 130 ammo, that's crazy. I mean, I guess it doesn't hold a lot of bullets. Whoa. Holy shit. Damn. We thought rainbows look cool on, on Earth. Jeez, that is crazy looking. Oh, I bet they're rings. Duh, of course. I always wondered what those would look like in real life, you know, if you lived on a planet with rings. What they would actually look like in the air and stuff. They would look so foreign, I'm sure. Oh, hey, a ship. Oh, there's a dude. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Oh, maybe it's not a dude. I think it's a chick. Hi! Oh, and a robot. Hey, dude. Talk to the lieutenant. She's certified in customer service. Are you a robot? Oh, you're not a robot. Never mind. You're a dude with a like a robot mask. Hi. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Come I cracked on, one skull. Leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. <laughs> I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I, I had a landing pad. It was called a dude. I landed right on him. He made a good landing pad. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. Found one of your teammates holed up in a cave? Yep. Really? How is he? He's better now that I healed him. Oh, wait, should I... Still a moron? <laughs> I'm hoping you're a little brighter. He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. Oh, well, too bad. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Oh, bad. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get these moder marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. So you guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Don't worry, you sit tight, I'll handle it. Coward, I'll do it myself. Uh this one? Well, sometimes. <laughs> Management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation. You wanna help out? You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> <laughs> what, the report's gonna be laminated? Hilarious. Where are they at? <laughs> are you killing them all? There's one. Get him. Sorry. She died. I think she died. Shit. Man, I'm really bad at these kind of games. Did she really die from just like two taps? You have unlocked perfect blocks. I don't even know how to block. Yeah, I think she died. Oh, hey. Oh, he's got Adreno. Yeah, I think she died. Thanks for the energy cell, I guess. Oh, you don't seem to be very good, do you? 
He literally just, like, meleeed her and she died. Or, like, maybe it was two melees and she died? It was pretty bad. What else did she drop? Oh, is that a wolf there? Did they kill this wolf? Hi. Thanks for the meat. Uh, where'd that other guy go? Did he die too? Is he gonna get pissed at me for her dying? Did you even join the fight, dude? Uh, yeah, he's gone. Huh. Well, I guess I'm all alone. Okay, it's fine. There's a building in the distance there. But it most certainly wants me to go to the ship. So, let's go to the ship. Are we going to get to go explore other worlds? I mean, it is called Outer Worlds, after all. I would assume we get to go to other worlds. I just want to work around a little bit here. Oh my god, this place is so big. Like, are we supposed to go somewhere else? I mean, it does say to go to the ship, so I guess we should just go to the ship. Don't get distracted. Go to the ship. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Oh, hey. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Gotcha. Huh? Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. I'll be the judge of that. I highly doubt that's true. Look, you've got Adreno. Look Marauder, that. please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. That's okay. Ooh, these are locked? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm not a marauder, by the way. I just killed marauders. She sounds like freaking GLaDOS. Doesn't she? Hey, this is where I'm supposed to go. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Oh, God, is this the lieutenant ship? Uh-oh. That feels bad. Uh, give me a second. My CPU is going absolutely insane. Give me one moment. Let me just see if I can find this inside of my... Uh, NVIDIA control panel. Because I'll try and uh, do the FPS through the uh, control panel. Just give me one second. It worked for Helldivers too. Like that game used to spike my CPU nonstop and it would do nothing else. It would spike it all the way up to 100% and it would never go away until I changed the program setting. Oh God, does it have to populate the list again? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. You know what? I guess we're not going to do anything with that after all. Never mind. Because apparently this thing always has to populate this list and it takes hours. Hours upon hours. Because I have so many fucking games. And there's there's just no way to make it populate it faster, I guess. Hopefully this will be okay. I think it was the RAM that was the issue, maybe. Hi, is this what Back I need to do? From the navigation console, intruder. What if I don't? Hello, Marauder. <laughs> I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Mm -hmm. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. <laughs> Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh-oh, I'm having encoding overloaded issues, too. This may not work. We may just have to go to a different game, because all of a sudden it is just... It's just 100% 100, 100 spiking my CPU. And yeah, that encoding overloaded is not going away. That's rather annoying. But hopefully if nothing's happening right now, maybe we can get back to the the frame limiting and see if maybe it was just in the beginning that I was having troubles. We'll see. 
What are you going to do, self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. This one. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. <laughs> Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. What? Please engage in airlocks. Preparing to eject all foreign parties in five, four, three, two, one. Why would I be afraid? Yeah, it's like you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. <laughs> My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get this ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, Captain Alex Hawthorne is dead. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. <laughs> Hawthorne's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. <laughs> Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged. Mm. And must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Yeah. Astutely observed. <laughs> However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> what is that ship's name? Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne no nonsense. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable? I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, I'm back from the dead, right. Okay, give me one second. Let me see here. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Okay. Give me a second. Let me just try and put this back up to... back to 60. And just see what happens. That should at least keep the CPU in a good spot, I'm hoping. Because, like I said, there's no way this list is ever going to pop. Never mind. It's already populated. Okay, so give me one second here. Maybe it didn't take that long this time, because it took forever last time. It took a whole entire night for that list to populate. I'm going to try and add this game real quick. I don't think it's on the list, and I don't really feel like looking in the list. God, it's not responding. Jesus, I hate NVIDIA control panel. Well, while that not responds for 20 minutes, let's go ahead and try this for now. Actually, I will go ahead and put this back to unlimited, I think. Now that I know that that, uh, that list is actually populated... It is just going to take fucking forever for it to do anything. That's just NVIDIA control panel for you. It just not responds for like 20 minutes. There we go. It finally is going. 
let's see, there's the Outer Worlds. Add selected program. There we go. And then we just go to max frame rate. Set it to 60. Okay. There we go. And then we apply that and maybe it works. Maybe it goes not responding again. Nope, I think it's good. And then we close it and hopefully it works. It fixed Hell Divers 2 like instantaneously. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. Okay. Oh wait, we got we got stuffs. Auntie Cleo. Oh, this must be Auntie Cleo, okay. You look like she looks like freaking oh, what's his name? Fuck, I forget his name. The the uh, angry video game nerd had him on as a guest star. He's the guy who made Toxic Avengers. Looks uh oh damn, I just had it, but that's okay. That's that's who she looks like though. As like in drag or something. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Okay. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock... What? But special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Okay. Read each skill description and see what they are. Armor, consumables, and stat effects are can temporarily raise or lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks, and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Hmm. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you, too, can achieve middle management. Lloyd Kaufman, that's his name. That's who this looks like. Like Lloyd Kaufman in drag. That's his name, yep. Jesus, there's 10 points available? Good God. What about perks? Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points throughout through gameplay, such as being accepted a flaw. What? Acquiring five new perks makes the new tier the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Oh god, is she she must be space spacer's choice, right? Oh hey, these are the perks, huh? Extra health. That's the time dilation. Ooh, damage when alone in party. I mean, this seems good. I would like... Oh, walk speed seems nice, too. Sprint speed, very good, too. You take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. Oh, yeah, there's durability, too. I didn't even see that. Companion. Ooh. Science and weapon magazine... Or that's just science weapon magazine size, I think. Of science weapons? What the hell is that? I'm assuming my pistol is not a science weapon. Ooh. Cheaper vendor prices. Ooh. Wait. This is even better. Oh, that's companion kills. Never mind. I thought that was just straight up experience. You become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born as a cargo hauler. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered? Huh. Am I encumbered right now? I don't know. I picked up all the shit. Maybe I am. Time dilation recharge rate carrying capacity could be good. I like picking up all kinds of shit. Base armor rating also sounds fine. Damage per flaw? What, what the hell is a flaw? I'm just going to go with health. Because you know what? That sounds fine. All changes will be lost. Don't, 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 don't let them be lost. Oh, there we go. You will be unable to uh, locate... To change your allocations. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I guess health seems fine. Sure. Okay, this is a lot of points available. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I want some points into handgun for sure. Wait, what? Oh, right. 
Yeah, let's put a couple into this. Three seems fine. Put two into defense. And you know, maybe I should get that persuade up. It's been hitting every time, but that doesn't mean anything. Leadership would be nice too, probably. Right? What is what does inspiration do? You can order companions to do special attacks. That seems kind of useful. The inhaler heals you and your companions, but they get 30% of the healing effect. I mean, that seems pretty good too. It's at 20 though, so I think I'll I'll do two here and three here. That way we can at least get persuade up. I didn't even realize my persuade was so low. I've been trying to use to use it, and I guess I've been lucky at using it. Good. What is this all about? Uh, I guess this is... Yeah, find a power regulator. Oh, God. Do they want me to go to that place? That's probably where they want me to go. Okay, that's fine. On this screen, you can see information on your active and completed quest, as well as change your currently active quest. What screen? screen are you talking about? Were you talking about the screen that I was just on? Hey, can you tell me where to go? What can I do for you, Captain? Oh, no, I guess not. Goodbye. I guess not. Okay, well, let me look and see if there is anything else in this ship. A pretty big ship. What if is your this? equipment is in need of repair or modification, mm -hmm. the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Is, is my equipment in need of repair? Whoops. How do you tell? I guess there must be a durability. Oh, condition is 80%. Well, that's pretty bad. Did I do bad with this too? Yeah, I kind of beat that up too. I mean, it's probably fine. Besides, I can do it myself. Can't I do it in the inventory? Isn't that what they said? Anything else in here that I can like steel I mean it's my ship now I guess it's not technically stealing then is it due to catastrophic power failure mm -hmm. all doors will remain on security lockdown okay oh you mean all these doors damn these are the crew's quarters Alex preferred to travel alone but he always had me mm-hmm Oh my god, are those board games? Chinese checkers, kinda? And like, Moncala pieces, but like a weird board? Huh. Hey, you got stuff in the fridge? Yep. Food. Sure. I don't know, this does seem to be having problems with the CPU. Hold on a second. I may actually have to lower the graphic settings. Oh wait, there's the tech graphic settings. Yeah, it does say low. Well, I guess let's do it. At least so I don't have CPU issues. I mean, it still looks pretty good. It's just a little blurry. That way I just won't have CPU issues at all. Because when I have CPU issues, then the game just... Like, my computer for some reason will just lock my keyboard and not allow me to move it well that's down here i wonder hmm? huh it does make the everything blurry though cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed oh right if you possess a power regulator please insert the part into the appropriate slot which is this one. Nice. Okay. Do you have other stuff that's interesting in here? Want to be a brand mm -hmm. new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Character respecification. Choosing to respec refunds all of your spent skill and perk points. Then you can spend them in a different way. The price to respec 
will increase each time you use the machine. Oh, okay, so this is a respec. Gotcha. No. I don't even know what it wanted me to use to pay for it. I don't know, this may not work. Because even though I did all that NVIDIA control panel stuff, the CPU is still just spiking like crazy. And I even lowered the graphics and it's still fucking spiking like crazy. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my CPU. It is bad though. And it may just be that, like, I I can't um, ever stream Helldivers 2 for sure. Because it just barely plays. This might just be another game that just barely plays. But anyway, if anybody is watching this right now, just to let you know, this game is free to claim for a few days, like six days, something like that. Seven? No. Five, I think? Because it started on Thursday, so it's either five or four days, something like that. So if it looks interesting to you, go ahead and claim it. It's on EpicGames.com, or probably not EpicGames.com. I'm not really actually sure where you get Epic Games anymore. I've had it for so long. Just Google Epic Games Downloader and download it, and then make a file, or make a, an account, and then boom, you can start getting free games as well. But... I think I'm going to have to stop the stream because I just don't think it's going to work. I just, I think if I'm going to play this game, I'm going to have to do it off stream because I don't think that it can handle everything that's happening here. It's much easier to play the game without streaming because I don't have my preview. I don't have OBS open. I don't have OBS preview. Like all of those videos are kind of trying to do the same thing at the same time. And it kind of fucks everything up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this down, and then I will come back with maybe some more War Tortoise? I don't know. But uh, give me one second. I will be right back.